Okay. So we have Hasta La Vista, baby. Go ahead and make my day. Those are both in the upright. <clears throat> some people are worth melting for in the upright. And some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are too bright. So the overall energy so far I'm getting is that um, you said goodbye to someone. Um, <laughs> and they're still in love with you. Or maybe they fell in love with you after you said goodbye to them. Um, but someone's saying goodbye to someone because they want to be with you, possibly. <clears throat> so, I'm getting the overall energy that someone is sending themselves free from a relationship or something. <clears throat> someone is involved in white-collar crime. Somebody didn't um, do a good job of covering their tracks. Ooh... They threw something your way towards like a mama bear, papa bear, take out how it resonates. Um, so they may have tried to set you up for some white collar crime. What? They were not very smart about it, but they were trying to stop you from elevating. And they did this by trying to spot your reputation. And this person is a snake. Hey guys. <clears throat> there is a... A masculine energy that tried to milk finances from a female energy or vice versa, okay? So the masculine and feminine energy came out and milking the cow came out, so it could go either way. A parental figure um, could be involved that you haven't had any communication with, or somebody could have communicated that you were a bad parent in some way. Somebody tried to get a judgment against you, and this could be in the community or court of law or spiritual judgment against you. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. If you've been experiencing bad luck, this came out sideways. I read sideways as current, present energy, or near future. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor regarding a situation. Someone wants to step up and defend you, and they want to bring you, um, help get you to calmer waters. So someone wants to help you get out of a bad situation. If you um, are experiencing, you know, some troubled times, someone wants to defend you and help you smooth the calmer waters, sail to calmer waters. <clears throat> okay, so here's uh, the jealous Queen of Cups in reverse, someone who didn't want you to have any relationships. Um, a miserable old witch, basically. Someone who um, is not a loving, caring person, and they didn't want you to be seen as a loving, caring person either. They work to take something from you. Somebody wants to give you some flowers, so someone may want to um, come and offer you something that's going to help you. Um, or they could have a crush on you, but they want to help you get free from a situation. So if someone is wanting to be empathetic towards you, hey, guys. <clears throat> this Queen of Cups in reverse wanted to cause you heartbreak. So this could be in the form of hurting you um, in some relationship that um, you have that's near and dear to you. And that could be any relationship at this moment. But somebody wanted to cause damage to a relationship <clears throat> that meant a lot to you you're working really hard you are in your king of swords energy so even if you're a female um you're in this you're in this truth this energy of um you're not cold-hearted but you're very focused and determined right now and you could still be a female um but someone didn't defend you um someone fought against you really hard to make oh, geez. someone tried to make you look like you were cold-hearted butthole but this jealous queen of cups in reverse did whether it be male or female could be a male in the little bitch energy you never know especially if they're doing shady shit to hurt people or 
ruin your relationships, or it could be a female. Take it how it resonates. <clears throat> so you close out a cycle with this person who didn't defend you and fought against you. You're the wounded warrior. So this person caused um, some significant injury to you, whether it be mental, financially, you know, physically. Um, this person, this jealous Queen of Cups in reverse, caused um, caused you some hurt, caused you some damage. Because you're, if you're the wounded warrior, they hurt you. But because they hurt you, um, you have some money coming, um, and that maybe they were trying to hide that. Um, but they didn't want you to be with a wealthy person. They didn't want you to have finances. This person was really jealous. But something is going into your favor. <clears throat> and this could be a maternal figure or parental figure. It was someone that should have been empathetic to you. But they didn't want anyone to be empathetic towards you either. Um, they didn't want just, you know, them to have these ill feelings towards you. They wanted the community, people that you're closest to, to think very badly about you. Okay, so the Queen of um, Wands came up and is going to be celebrating. So, um, okay. Okay, so you are not, or you could be in your King of Swords energy, but you're also in the Queen of Wands energy. So you're a balanced person. You're balanced. You're, you're balanced with your male and feminine, um, you know, you're balanced out. And so not only are you like in your... Um, determined focus you're working on your finances you're, you're an honest person but you're also a leader and you're empathetic and caring and you're going to be celebrating so um i'm getting the energy that this could be the same person you could be um embodying your queen of wands energy and your king of swords energy so um congratulations for doing the shadow work or healing because not everyone is balanced so kudos <clears throat> a penny saved is a penny earned so like i said you are focused on your finances right now whether it's saving money making money um you're really in your boss energy right now cry me a river and someone's crying over this someone didn't want you to be seen as a leader someone didn't want you to be able to save money you're gonna have money to burn the ace of pentacles came out you may not have received it yet. This could be past, present, or future energy, but that is in the upright. So if you're in the upright, um, then you have some money coming to you at some point, and you may have money to burn. Somebody could have done something in September. So September could be significant. It could be the date of an event or a birthday. Um, <clears throat> you may be between a rock and a hard place right now, but you're going to have money to burn. Or this karmic energy that fought against you so hard could be in a rock and a hard place now because of what they did to you. They did something in September and it got them caught up in something. They wanted you to get caught up and they may have thought that they succeeded but they really didn't. It's it's coming back to get them because that's how the karma works. <clears throat> working really hard at something right now <clears throat> whatever you're working on is going to pay off for you financially and someone was obsessed like someone was obsessed with stopping you from working or making money um uh, someone able someone was obsessed with um trying to affect your finances but you're still you're still um you're still pushing through man <laughs> You're really a hard worker. Someone didn't expect you to do that. Someone even traveled toward you. They could have even traveled toward your employer to affect your finances. <clears throat> or this could have been someone you worked with. This, um, oh, here we go. This uh, Queen of Cups in reverse could have been a jealous co-worker that you worked with that didn't want you to be happy. She could have um, been jealous of your relationships with maybe your co-workers, clients, other people. Um, and maybe if you were in a relationship with a significant other, this person could have been jealous of that, even if they were in a relationship with someone else. So this could have been someone that you worked with, the jealous Queen of Cups. <clears throat> could have been an older woman, could have been a boss figure, could have been a supervisor. Um, 
you're in a situation and you're working really hard to get out of it. So somebody did something to affect your finances in a big way and they thought they had you desolate and in a state of despair, but you have gifts and talents because you're special. <laughs> I love that. You're special. <clears throat> they can't take what's on the inside because you are held in high honor. What did I just say? <laughs> they can't take away, they can take your money, but they can't take your creativity, your ability to, you know, do something new, change direction, switch it up. This person thought they had you between a rock and a hard place, and then you completely switched directions. You may have just quit the job and left them to fend for themselves if they wanted to play games with you. Hey, you know what? <clears throat> this person was jealous of your Ten of Cups. They didn't want you to get your Ten of Cups. Whatever they did affected your happiness, and that's why karma's going to come back and bind them in the ass, because you sh they shouldn't have messed with someone who's in the upright. Especially if you're an earth angel, divine being, or you have divine protection. Um, God don't play about his people, folks. He really doesn't. <clears throat> so you're, you're in your queen of pentacles energy. And if you're in the upright, like if you're a high priest or high priestess, you can embody any of these um, major arcanas. So you are going to be going, you may be um, going from like two of pentacles to queen of pentacles energy, whatever you're doing or whatever you have coming to you, it's going to put you at the very top of the food chain. So <clears throat> these people that thought that they could take you down a notch or two, they're just going to see you elevate because you're going to get a message about something. <clears throat> Page of Wands, this could be a younger person um, or someone with some information um, traveling towards you or someone you know to set the record straight about something. They know some information that someone else may not have known. They may be coming forward with some truth regarding a work situation. Maybe if they knew that some people were working against you and everyone was trying to keep it hidden or there was a group of people trying to keep it hidden. There's a younger energy that is going to come forward and um, tell the truth about something that was stolen from you or taken from you. Whoa. Yeah, somebody took something from you. Thief. That's the thief energy. And so someone's going to come forward and expose um, something that they know about a theft that took place. And this could have been at the workplace. <clears throat> yep, they're coming forward. They're coming out. Something is about to be revealed. This came out sideways. The hermit energy. Um, something's being brought to light. And this is now or near future energy. So, yeah, something's about to be exposed regarding your work and finances and a theft that occurred. <clears throat> And why you had to fight so many conflicts. This is the Queen of Cups. You are the Queen of Cups in the upright. You're loving, caring, nurturing. And you've had to fight a lot of battles. So, man, you've, like, I think, like, all of them came out. All the major arcanas came out. You're embody, you can embody anything and everything if you're in the upright. And you're a very balanced person. The energy I'm getting, you are a very balanced person. You balance your emotions and, you know, your feelings, your logic. Um, you're very balanced in the workplace and in your home life. And that's what's going to bring you out of this Five of Pentacles energy. That's why you're coming out of this Five of Pentacles and moving up to the king, Queen or King of Pentacles energy. Because you are false. Nice. Mm. Alright, since this seems to be work related, I might see if I can't get a few office cards out. <laughs> You're so immature. So there was definitely someone who was immature, whether they're older or younger. There was someone immature involved. <clears throat> You're going number one, but you've only got 10 seconds. So someone who was immature didn't want to see you. Um, <laughs> they didn't want anyone to see you as superior to them. Even if you were, um, if they were your boss, people may have been respectful to you. They may have shown you care, love, like, this person was jealous of the attention you were getting at work, so this person could have been an attention whore. They could have been jealous, like the Queen of Cups in reverse could have been jealous of how you just interact with people. Nostalgia is truly one of the great human weaknesses, second only to the neck. So someone, um, someone is kind of being haunted about what they, what they've seen, what they witnessed. They know something that happened 
that went on and that's why it's going to be brought to light and exposed because someone misses you at work someone misses having you around like at first they may not have cared you know or like realized you know um how much your absence affected the workplace but people are really missing you there <clears throat> The worst thing you can do for your, your immune system is to coddle it. They need to fight their own battles. So, <clears throat> this jealous queen of cups, um, if they were your superior, they didn't train you well. They left you to fend for yourself, and they wanted to see you fail, and they thought this shit was funny. They, they were amused by this. What did I just say? And humor, I have it too, and the reverse. They thought this was funny. They sat back and watched you and thought you were going to struggle, but guess what? You're, you're in your boss energy. You didn't need them. You were able to accomplish your work, complete your work, and turn it in on time. Meanwhile, they're sitting there not getting the work in on time because they're too busy standing around talking and being stupid. Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Because if so, you're succeeding. Yeah, this feeling got this person got their feelings but hurt. Like this person, you hurt their feelings because you were better than them at their job without trying, and you made it look so easy. Oh my gosh, just doing my job. This person was not doing their job. That's why they were, <laughs> they were so, they were mad at you because you were just doing your job. Oh my goodness. And you were better at it than they were because they were lazy, unmotivated. They couldn't do the job. They weren't even qualified for it to begin with. I don't know. Oh, man. All right. Why tip someone for a job I'm capable of doing myself? I can deliver food. I can drive a taxi. I can do and cut my own hair. I did, however, tip my urologist because I'm unable to pulverize my own kidney stones. So this person was jealous of you and basically had a grudge against you because you could do everything by yourself. You didn't need their help. And this made this person so mad that they got a little group of people together to be immature. Yeah, they're, they're immature. Whether they're younger or older than you, they acted like a bunch of little children at work just because you could do the job by yourself and you didn't need four or five people, little groupies hanging around doing your job for you. Oh, wow. Alrighty then. Alright. <clears throat> this is crazy. So, courage. You had the courage to keep going. You may have even known that this person was doing this behind your back. You may have known that there was a group of people doing this behind your back, but you're courageous, and that's maybe why you just said screw it and left. And the old. So someone even older than you could have been involved, or you could be older than these people. Take it how it resonates. <clears throat> um, I f I'm getting the energy that you're older than these people. So you're courageous, and you're older than this group of people who wanted to act like a bunch of children. They really just needed to stop. But they wouldn't stop. They just kept going with it. And then when you left, if you decided to have the courage and you walked away from these people, they ended up screwing themselves because they can't get the work done. They can't meet the quota. They can't They can't do anything because you were what was holding it together. But they won't say it to your face. They, they were talking shit behind your back. <clears throat> but to your face, they acted really friendly. All right. Let's get just a couple more here. Any healthy? So if you were fit or attractive, this person was a je was jealous of that too. My goodness. Two C's. Someone didn't want you to have the attention. They wanted to seize the attention. Oh my gosh. This person really was jealous and involved a group of people to do this, to take money, to man, to take the attention. This is that attention work. <clears throat> someone didn't get a wake-up call they didn't listen to their intuition what they did to you um they just acted in an immature energy they didn't go with the flow they were trying to force something they may have even tried to force you out of your position because they didn't want you to be there they were jealous of you because they didn't want you to be seen as the boss and this person obviously isn't the boss it's in the reverse so this person um was your boss but they had no business being your boss because they acted immature they didn't know how to act they didn't know how to act their wage. They're not balanced, so they didn't know how to separate their emotions. A Capricorn could be involved. 
something could be happening in December. December could be significant for Capricorn. Um, winter could be significant, so something could be happening in winter and December that involves a Capricorn. What goes around comes around. So if this person was a Capricorn, um, their karma is coming back to get them. They got caught up in something. Someone's about to speak out, either whether it's one of these group members or someone that witnessed something. Somebody is about to speak out because they actually miss you at work. They really do. Somebody did something last October to you. Or someone's birthday could have been last October, but I'm really getting the feeling that somebody did something last October at work. And karma's a bitch. Especially for this jealous person. Okay. <clears throat> and there's no time like the present. Okay, so we'll get some closing message cards here and see what our final thoughts are going to be regarding this situation. This immature person um, may have a substance abuse problem. They may be drinking. Um, they're dark. They thought the shit was funny and they just laughed while they sat back and ruined maybe... E hey, shh. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Just be quiet for just a minute. Um... Yeah, this person was dark. They could be drinking. Um, they thought this was funny. They really thought this was funny. And this could have been your career. Like, they did something to mess with something that you possibly even love. They even maybe tried to put something in your food or drink to set you up. Um, man, they may have even tried to make you sick at work on purpose just so you wouldn't show up. This person is in their nightmare or they're going to be because of what they did. The winner takes it all. They wanted to win at all costs. This person was shady as, you know what? They watched you. They stole your ideas. Watch her in the sky in reverse. They watched you, stole your ideas, um, tried to copy your work. This is like that copycat energy, like in the workplace kind of thing. They can't stand on their own. So they took your work and tried to make it look as if it were their own. Anything else before we close this out? I've been everywhere. This person is a hoe. Male or female, this person is a hoe. Um, they saw you happy. They saw you in your relationship. And they were jealous. And they wanted your person. They may have even tried to seduce your person. Or may have even been successful. But this person, what they did, it was evil deeds. And they brought a uh, bad luck upon themselves. Lucky in the reverse. Um, Indian giver. Yeah. So if you were engaged or um, they were going to promote you or something, they took back an offer because of what this person did. This person was working behind the scenes to stop you from um, getting any sort of promotion. And they took money from you. Like maybe they didn't turn in your time card or something when they should have. And that's why you left. You left the situation. You were courageous. And you showed them that um, what it's like to stand on their own. And I'm guessing that um, it's they, they can't. They can't. Because you were what held what held them together as far as a company. You, d you could have done the work of like five people. And these people were sitting back and acting like you couldn't do your job. Stealing your work. And after you were you left, you were gone, then um, they couldn't produce the work, and now now the business is struggling, losing money, losing contracts, so it is what it is, folks. I hope this helps. Have a good day.